Good morning, happy Friday. I'm out here at Sandgate this morning. It is an absolutely perfect day. And I'm gonna take part in a foreshore walk. And it is run by the Keep Sandgate Beautiful Association. And we're gonna go and see what kind of creatures we can see out on the tidal flats. So I'm very excited. two months they've gone and I noticed today there are little black and white ones there so there's quite a change in, in the day. like a weed. Fishermen used to use it for bait as well. Spongy cut thing. So that's that's and it usually squirts the water out as well. Pungivoy there as well. Now once you start looking for things now you're going to start to see tracks of things. We'll find other chimney worms that are better, but it's like a parchment, piece of parchment, when it sticks up. Okay, what we're looking at here is, we think, is a shell house worm, which we'll dig up. I'm gonna wait. Do you guys wanna see a shell house worm? Yeah, yeah, bring it on. And then of course there won't be one. Shell, what we're going to dig up, we've identified by this bit of weed that's sticking up. It may be, or it may not be, but now, Tony and will Sue, have a dig. You're just creating a little bit of sh shade. I need to move just a little bit. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. See what we're looking okay, at? I'll go with this one first. Up. I'll go this one first. Yep, it is. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What is that? Keep your shirt That's a away. shell house worm. What is that? This one. So number inside the shells is like parchment, Sometimes like a straw, and attaches all that sand to it, all what the shell that? to it. Shell house worm. So inside there's a tube, and the shell house is attached. Why they put the, the shells on the outside, I don't know. <laughs> we, we don't know. He's collected his own little shells. But we found some amazing size ones. So there's a whole colony of them there. 
and well once you once you see one then you know what you're looking for and see over near near that rock over there who's in that shadow so you're in the shadow there's some that are quite big near that rock there but you're going to behind it and turn it towards you it's got lots of barnacles underneath it oh and a lovely big crab 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 <laughs> Underneath the rock here. There it goes. Down there. So, but make sure when you turn your rock, you put it back down. There it is. There oh, he yeah. is. Yeah. Beautiful. A big one. Yeah. He's got the big muscly arms. Yeah. The big. <laughs> it's a boy. It's a boy because Pam's got the pictures, but the lady has a, a wider flap uh, underneath, and the, has got the boy has no skinny flap underneath. So this is it here. See that? We found in there. Yeah. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Like a scallop shell. Yes. This one too. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, it kind of oyster family, but that's that scallop that I showed you that's dangerous to step on. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. I can see how you cut your foot on that. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. Why it's so dangerous. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. So, what is that again? Well, we think it's kanji boy again, okay. but I've never seen it that colour that I can remember. Right. And I'm not, absolutely not convinced it is kanji boy because it's a bit harder. Yeah. So whether, it may, maybe it is a kanji boy, but just a different type. Well, I'm just here. Thank you very much. See that white? You can't see the other end of the chair. Yeah. Good spotting. Good spotting. <laughs> That's why you always got to watch when you walk everywhere. Yes. <laughs> See, there's another one just gone. No, it's only one time. Yeah. These are the rocks that are the same colour as that chimney here, and what year? And we're likely to see a few of them as well. They're chimneys. 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 Why have you got the shell house under the rock? Well, yeah, yeah. and the worm Good. coming out of it. Oh, mm -hmm. the worms. Oh, I see yeah. the orangey worm, yeah. yeah. Good. Good. Oh, you cleaned Excellent. it. Very good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Oh, no, he's squatting. Oh, I told you. Huh? Oh, he's actually got some stripes this way as well. He does have some bigger stripes. Yeah. And that's why they can sort of find them. My shoes are the right. They're camouflage shoes. That's so funny. You're our little friend, there you go. You'll never be alone. <laughs> Is there, maybe he thinks my plate dead, you'll leave me alone. Yeah, he's like If I don't move they don't know they don't know that I'm here. Yeah. It's an interesting tail it has. It's not a fan tail, is it? It's well unless he's got a unless that's something stuck to him at the end. <laughs> Little bits of red on the pincers, you should be able to see them in these. Well, sort of going off track. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. whatever it is, is big enough to grab me if I move. You're in hope for the best. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it has changed in even your time. Because remember in one of those old pictures that we showed you, there was a, a set of changing rooms? Yeah. Oh, well, see in the cement wall there where there's a difference? Yeah. 
that used to be a changing shed and it came out and these were the piles from it. Ah. But in your lifetime, <laughs> there used to be um, posts that were there still remaining from the old dressing shed. And last year in its wisdom, the city council removed everything from the oh. rock wall and took it away. So I realized when I was putting this video together that I actually completely failed to do any kind of outro. So here it is. <laughs> and I hope you can hear me okay. It was an absolutely incredible experience. I cannot possibly recommend that highly enough. Um, if you are a Brisbane local, I found that event via Eventbrite. So you can download Eventbrite and I get emails sent to my inbox anytime there's a new event happening around Brisbane. Um, so all the things that I've gone to recently, like the composting workshop and the veggie workshop and this beach walk, they're all by Eventbrite, run by various associations. So uh, the more gardening type ones that I've been attending have been run by the council. And this particular one that I went for in the beach walk was run by an association called Keep Sandgate Beautiful Association. And they run the, those walks uh, monthly during the cooler months. And it's just incredible what you can see when you know what you're looking for. I would never have picked probably even one of the many things that we saw during that walk. We saw those green worms that you saw, hermit crabs, regular crabs, um, chimney worms, shell house worms, mud whelks, uh, toadfish. There was just so much, there was so much marine life to see just off the boardwalk. So it was fantastic. It's great for young and old. I think I was probably the youngest adult there. There were some kids there as well with mum and dad, but I think I was probably the youngest adult, but I cannot recommend that highly enough. If you are in the Brisbane area, jump on, get out, have a look, because now anytime I go to the beach, I'm going to be looking around for tracks and looking at things I can see in the tidal pools and the shallows. And I just, yeah, it's mind blowing how much life there is out there when you actually open your eyes and know where you